Hey, welcome back everybody. I'm Drone Tech and today I want to talk to you about a story that I actually got from Mark Dice this morning when I was surfing Gab. Which, if you haven't followed me there, go ahead and do that. I'll put the link in the description and pinned comment. And if you haven't done so already, please hit that like button and subscribe. Might as well hit that bell notification while you're at it. So I get on Gab this morning, and Mark Dice has this post about this guy that has been invited to CPAC, or I should say had been invited to CPAC. Uh, his name is Young Pharaoh, and he's got a lot of crazy theories about white people. It's probably better if I just show you the clip. When we're dealing with the Caucasian not having no soul, you have to understand in order to possess the cosmic essence, you have to have melanin. Mm -hmm. A specific component of melanin being neuromelanin, the one with the N, not the E. You got that? In order to possess the cosmic essence, you got to have neuromelanin. And that's the one with the N, not the E. Caucasians only have pheomelanin, which is animal melanin. They mm -hmm. cannot get above the animal playing conscious level. You see animals kill, they don't, a lion will kill you and don't lose no sleep. A gorilla will kill you, don't lose no sleep. A cobra will kill you, don't lose no sleep. Mm -hmm. The Caucasian is killing us and don't lose no sleep because they are physically composed of the same melanin phenotype of animals. Eighty-five percent of Caucasians, and I believe the number is way higher. But we're dealing with scientific statistics that they document that can be researched and referenced. Right. Eighty-five percent of Caucasians cannot; their vehicles cannot uh, intake a. See what I mean? Like, why would CPAC ever invite this guy in the first place? We're gonna get into that question and a lot more, but first, this quick message from this channel sponsor, healthwithdronetech.com. New studies show that by the time people reach their middle ages, the body often produces less than half the collagen it did in youth. Collagen is the main building block in our skin, making up 70 to 80% of it. This is why we get sagging skin and wrinkles as we age. If you wanna look younger, you must supplement collagen. That's exactly why I highly recommend healthwithdronetech.com. Ageless Multi-Collagen is a powerhouse of the right ingredients to improve your youthful appearance quickly and effectively. Get my favorite multi-collagen for 51% off today by going to www.healthwithdronetech.com or by visiting the link in the description or pinned comment. But I get online to see if this guy, I, I had to see if this was actually true. And uh, I, I search and immediately I see a ton of stories about CPAC disinviting young Pharaoh, which I thought, huh, that's interesting. Okay. So I look, but immediately I notice that in the headlines of all these stories, the reason that he was let go from CPAC is because of his anti-Jewish conspiracy theories, because he's an anti-Semite. I look here and like I said, you, it's all about anti-Semitism. There's nothing in here. On any of these stories, I, I looked at them. What concerns me here is that nobody in the media saw it newsworthy to even report that he said these things. They only wanted to focus on the fact that he uh, was an anti-Jewish, had, had put out a lot of anti-Jewish rhetoric. So I, then I asked myself, why is that? I mean, I can only really think of two reasons. One, they want to paint CPAC as you know racist and anti-Semitic. They invited an anti-Semite to come speak at their conference. I mean, I'm asking the question why they would invite this guy in the first place, given the, the rhetoric that we saw at the beginning of the video. I think the other reason might be that they want to be able to keep up their narrative that white people are this oppressor and that you can't be racist to white people. And they do that really by just never reporting on you know anything happening to white people uh, in that regard. Just like they only report when on police shootings when you know it's a white cop shooting a black person and even then it doesn't matter you know if the cop was you know did it in self-defense it's just that it was a black person that makes it this nationwide story yet they never report on unarmed white people that are shot by police why i believe because they want to keep up this narrative that it's you know black people that are being hunted down by police in this case they can keep up the narrative that white people aren't discriminated against there's no racism against white people they're just oppressors uh by not reporting on this stuff and just pretending like it never happens and actually now that i'm thinking about it there is a third reason that they might be covering this up essentially. And that's because they don't want to have any sort of negative backlash on those communities. I guess based on that logic, the fact that they only report and they cherry pick stories to, to 
get this narrative going, you have to believe that they do want negative backlash against the white community. So there's another story that's very similar to this, Nick Cannon. Now, if you remember, Nick Cannon uh, went on this rant about how white people had no souls and were animals. It was very similar to what we're hearing from Young Pharaoh here. Uh, and But if you go and you look at the stories at the time, it's the exact same way. The only, uh, the only thing that the media reports on are his anti-Semitic uh, comments, and those seem to be the only ones that matter. And I don't really want to rehash all of yesterday's video. You should go check that out. But there's lots of other bad signs. I mean, you have all these professors at universities basically calling for the eradication, the extermination of white people. And then when you have uh, professors pumping that out, you have the media ignoring it, downplaying it, or just basically acting like it doesn't exist. And then you have these powerful people who are promoting the idea that white people aren't even human and then being given jobs as influencers in the mass media. Uh, you really start have to yet to really start asking yourself what's going on here, and if we should start taking this seriously. I mean, I believe we all need to get active. We need to stand up. We need to protest this. We need to protest Viacom and anybody who is running cover for these people that are straight up racist and not just everyday run of the mill, you know, just asshole racist. These people are genocidal. Anyway, folks, just had to get that off my chest. Like I said, if you're out there and you buy into that stuff, I want to talk to you. So get in touch with me. You can find plenty of ways to do that in the description or pinned comment, as well as ways to support this channel. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you all next time.